Hello guys, um, I've got a bit of a different tutorial today. I'm going to be covering um, some new stuff that I d found out in FL Studio a couple of weeks ago. Um, and basically what it is, is with external VSTs like Massive, Zeta, uh, everything that doesn't come with FL Studio, it won't have the same features that a FL Studio VST comes with, like um, automation clips. Like, Let me show you. So if I just add a FL Studio um plug in like FL keys for example. If you right click on any of the like the modulator handles you'll have this uh, create automation clip uh, option. And basically what that does is it puts a um this like little track thing in the um track viewer and you can modulate that uh whatever wheel you automated and then as the song plays um, what will happen in the VST is the if I can get the VST there it is is that if you look the velocity wheel is going crazy um, however with external VSTs you don't get the option to um, add an automation clip so if I open up massive here so if you right click one of the handles you see there's you don't get um, a create automation clip option. Um, one of the ways that you can automate um, uh, score and stuff like that within a external VST is if you hit the record button over here and then hit play while in the pattern editor like this and um, you can do whatever and stuff like that and you um, wiggle the handle in here so you hit record you hit play and then you just go like that or whatever and then you can right click down here and it will come up down the bottom you can't see it, it's coming off my recording but it will be there um but it, uh, well i wouldn't well it is easier because you get to see it but um the process to get there is um a lot longer but it's worth it in the end so i'm going to show you how to do it so i'm just going to load up a uh, preset that i made prior to this Where is it? There it is. Okay, so this is no, I didn't click it, did I? There we go. So this is a um, nice little bass that I made. And um, basically, I'm gonna take. Let me see which one I'm gonna do. Okay, so this one sounds nice. Um, this one sounds nice. When you move this up and down as the um, sound is playing, it makes a nice kind of gritty noise. So I'm going to turn this into a wheel that I can use uh, a modulator with. Well, not modulator, I'm getting my words mixed up. An automation clip. So set, make sure it's all the way to the bottom. This is just an easy way to do it. And what you're going to do is go channel, add one, and add a dashboard and you're going to hit this little arrow next to the lock and go add control wheel and then you can pick any one but I'm going to pick the grey doll because it goes with the background to the background I've got and a little wheel will pop up and you can move it around and there will be a, um, a settings to the side here you can just change the caption so so there you go and then you're going to hit this little lock button and that will lock it all down and you can move the wheel now and make sure that's set to the bottom as well and then you're going to go back into massive click the drop down at the uh, the top left hand corner and click link all parameters now I'm going to move this up here and don't be worried by what about what you're about to see click the top drop down here and out of all of these um, lots of words and numbers you're going to find MIDI CC hash and then a number and what you're going to do is it doesn't matter which one you pick as long as it's a blank one so as long as it doesn't have something in brackets next to it so I'm just going to click MIDI CC number three and then under internal controller click dashboard wheel one then hit accept and then you can close that and then you right click this and click MIDI learn and so now, if I make this 
detached and then open massive and now when you move this wheel if you look the uh, WT position on the scrim oscillator should go up and down with it and so now if you right click this and click create automation clip now you can automate that that um, wheel in massive and um, another cool thing that you can do, you can do this um, within Massive, but another cool thing that you can do uh, now that you've got Dashboard uh, is if you put that into a new mixer track, open up the mixer, so if I pull this up, so then you add a uh, peak controller and then open up dashboard itself, right click on the wheel and click link to controller and then the internal controller would be dashboard peak control LFO hit accept and then you can move the base, the base is where the, make sure you do it on the LFO, the bottom uh, wheels the base is where the wheel starts the volume is where it goes to the speed is what speed it jumps between the two points and I don't know what that wheel does so yeah and then here you can change these you can change the type of like the way the wheel moves so this will be uh, almost exactly the same this one it jumps between the two points that's the one I use the most and this one goes down and then jumps back which makes some really nice noises actually um, and so now when that's automatically moving this without any automation. This is um, used to make uh, like the dubstep bass wobble noises. Um, and so yeah, so now that you've got your automatable wheel for Massive, you could do this with I think anything within Massive. I know I've tried it with a lot of stuff within Massive and it should work with any external VST. Um, I mean, I'm not sure how to do it with other ones because I haven't tried it, but it should work. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please rate, comment and subscribe and show this to your friends who use FL Studio because I think it's a really useful thing to know. So anyway, peace out.